Okay, let's see. Um, I dare mainstream Nashville is saying, wow. <laughs> that's the best ever. Let's go. Oh, snap. I told you, if he's mad, it's comedy gold. I'll do it. I'm just taking out this trash that was brought to me this morning. Oh, God, dude. You have no idea. I woke up this morning with the most cringy, shittiest, fucking laughable, embarrassing thing sent to my phone. And I'm glad I'm not a part of what I'm about to show y'all because... It's fucking embarrassing. So this morning I wake up, I get a text from one of my friends who's a country singer. And they were like, bro, look at this. So I clicked on it and I was like, hmm, what a perfect opportunity to make a video today. Thank you. Carly Rogers. So this morning I wake up, Carly <laughs> sends me this uh, headline from the Tennessean newspaper. And as you know, they don't ever talk about anybody that fucking has been doing numbers or doing anything good for country rap. They don't talk about me. They don't talk about Demon Jones. They don't talk about Carly Rogers. They don't talk about Adam Calhoun. They don't talk about any of us because we make it look good. They only talk. Wouldn't you want to talk about the guys that look good, Tennessean? I mean, he is a native son of yours, right? Why is that? Why is there such pushback? from you I don't understand way over here in California you guys are just a little itty bitty state over there come on they're California's dying for talent like this and he is so faithful to you guys wow but okay let's just keep not I don't know Supporting local talent, I guess. I guess that's how you do it over there. I don't know. About Carly Rogers. They don't talk about Adam Calhoun. They don't talk about any of us because we make it look good. They only talk about motherfuckers who make country rap look like complete dog shit. And I'm about to prove it to you. So if you go back about three, four, five months ago, right after all that shit happened where uh, that record label downtown was trying to sign me because they wanted to sign me and get fucking rid of me so, they, so I'd stop putting out stuff. And then I was like, <laughs> fuck these motherfuckers. And I made them give me a bunch of free shit, like a cool ass fucking Gibson guitar and a bunch of liquor and all this other shit. And then, uh, yeah, they got mad at me, so fuck them. And I came back home and I made a YouTube video about it. And I said, listen, guys, I've been on the inside. I know what's going on and I know what they're going to do. And I said, here's what they're going to do. They're going to grab every fucking old fucking rapper they can get for a low ass price. They're going to slap them together and they're going to call it country rap because they know it's something that's growing. It is something that's growing. It's consistently stuck around. And now people who are not connected to the mainstream business aspect of things are fucking running the show. So what they do, they fucking, with their non hip hop knowledge brains are like, hmm, let's go find some guy who used to rap and get another guy to hold a guitar and then we'll just call it a country rap song and promote the fuck out of it, even though it sounds like doo-doo on a biscuit. And oh, that's no. exactly what the hell they're doing. Come I called on. that shit. They fucking know. So check out this headline I woke up to. Look at this cringy ass shit. A hoedown? Nope. Chingy throws the woe down with Megan Tyler on new I gotta see. Wait a minute. Chingy? I like. I like the way you do it right there, something like that. And then Meg and Tyler, they do country and rap? I thought they were more a pop duo. Oh no. I'm, I'm not sure that should have been, I'm not sure if that spell, I don't know. Anyway, go, Chingy. I, they better gave you a lot of money for this. I really hope so. Country rap song. Good job, Tennessean. You're doing great reporting. You see what I'm saying? Country rap only means something when they're doing it the fucking incorrect way. Oh, well, what's the incorrect way? That fucking way. I'm about to show you the song. Oh, Trust me, no. you'll, you'll think it's the wrong way too. Don't be fucking, oh, well, music is music. Yeah, but, but, but here's what you gotta realize. They're shutting out the real motherfuckers that are talking about some shit uh. like me and Adam Calhoun and Demon Jones and Colt Ford and Leroy Biggs, like, and, and, and they're putting this shit out. This shit's not country. 
Nothing about it is country. Just because you can say the word hoedown and say yeehaw and, and pay some dude to fucking park a truck behind you and you can wear a flannel shirt don't mean you're country, bro. And it's funny because they're making these songs because they're like, oh, yeah, country people, hell, just say tractor and beer and they'll buy it. Yeah, they'll buy it. Just look and we'll, we'll tell them it's a hoedown. We'll tell them to the left, to the right, and then dip it low. They'll, they'll drink beer to, to left, to right, to dip it low. The man. He is pissed. He's pissed. You guys don't know. He's pissed. For him to be this involved. Man. Nashville, what are you guys doing to him? He's only 28 years old. You guys want to do this to a fellow American? Golly. All your big old corporations against one young American? That's horrible. This is what we do? Mainstream wow. business downtown has always laughed at it, shit on it, said it ain't going nowhere, said that this is not going to be profitable. These people are fucking stupid. And now that we've done all the work, Big Smoke, Colt Ford, me, Demon Jones, Adam Calhoun, everybody who makes it look good, now that we've done all the fucking work, Please all the man hours, all the traveling, and doing all these shows, and yeah, we do shows with big motherfuckers too, like Trace Atkins and Thomas Rhett and Jason Aldean. I've done them. They act like we don't, but we fucking do. They're the ones that fucking call us to come there to get the show fucking hype as hell. After all this fucking work for the past four or five years that we've all been doing, now, oh, well, now, now they're taking it serious. Now, now they're starting their own little projects that fucking sound like shit and make people look stupid. And they're like, oh yeah, country rap. No, it, we're doing it too. We're doing it good. Everyone knows all of our country rap artists. Who's up, church? Who's Adam Calhoun? Bitch ass motherfucker, you know. Remember back four years ago when Outlaw was made? When I got Luke Combs to come down to Cheatham County and we did a country rap song and it blew the fuck up. And guess what? Two months later, what were they saying? Oh, take his name off of there. We don't want him associated with all this country rap nonsense. That was me. That was my idea. And it fucking worked. Who's the motherfucker that opened up for Thomas Rhett in Coleman, Alabama, and they told me, hey, no rebel flags, no cussing, and no Donald Trump stuff? Who's the motherfucker that ran on stage with a big ass rebel flag, pulled it out of his pocket, and said, Trump 2020, make America great again? That was me. Who's the. Look, for all of you hating on Upchurch because of his political views or because of his rebel flag or whatever, just know this. If we didn't have people like Upchurch, people like Adam Calhoun, people who have their own ideas and the way that they think, we really wouldn't have an America as great as it is. For all intents and pur purposes, you know, I really believe that. If he wasn't as stubborn as he is, if you didn't know people as stubborn as you do. If Adam Calhoun wasn't as stubborn as he is, who knows? We might actually be a socialist country. I don't want that. I don't like people telling me what to do. In fact, when people do tell me what to do, I want to do the exact opposite. So, I don't know. That's my spiel on that. I'm not saying like, oh, we should all embrace whatever everybody else thinks. No, think for yourself. But before you go hating on somebody, you really should know a lot more about them than just surface ideals, is all I'm saying. The motherfucker that had every record label in fucking Nashville come to him and be like, hey, let's sign you. And who's the motherfucker who said, hey, you can shove it up your ass? And who's the motherfucker that has shit like this hanging on their wall with no motherfucking record label after they hadn't told me, oh, you will never get far it's if mad. you don't come with us? Oh, yeah? Then why is this on my wall? Yep. Exactly. You know who made those plaques happen in there? Organic listeners. You know who didn't help me get those plaques in there? Mainstream Nashville. Because y'all can't help me do nothing. Y'all don't know what to do with somebody like me. You have to call these fucking people to get in there. Because people like me are not going to listen to you. And you know why? Because y'all don't know what you're talking about. That's Look the truth. at the shit you promote. 
Look what you... That's the absolute truth. Um, shout out to No Knockoffs Radio. They had Royce to 5'9 um, on their radio station. And that is quite a huge, epic... That's huge, okay? And Royce to 5'9 was talking about mainstream and labels. And he's saying that labels get it wrong all the time. Um, all the time. So, there you go. You hear it for, for yourself. Go check out No Knock Offs Radio. Go listen to, um, I'll put the link in the description. It was amazing. Because this is somebody who has had to deal with them. These label, these artists, you know, for so long. These. Anyway, I could talk all day about that. But when he said that, it reminded me of it. What you put out? Good job, Tennessee, and it's a hoedown today. Woohoo! A great big old hoedown. Well, I mean, what are we wasting time for? Let's see this nice old hoedown of a country rap song. We'll let you be the judge. It probably is not so bad. It. I need everyone on set in your places. Oh, yeah. Is everyone on set? Come here. Get on Come set. Come on, Ryan. It's not Here's that bad. Paper. Read what we fucking wrote for you to say. <laughs> it reminds me of that cringy-ass intro to that Luke Combs song. We run with a song? No, we shouldn't run with a song standing in a studio. We should run with like a butter knife or something. What do you think, Luke? What do you think, Luke? Are you gonna give Tinkerbell some shuggies after this? The fuck? I'd have been like, take this out of my video. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Scott, you're gonna see me master the selfie during this. That is crazy. Yeah, let's get back to the hoedown stuff. Chingy. Have you seen Chingy? Have you seen Chingy? No, I don't think she's seen Chingy because she's two feet away, and I think she's already heard you say, where is Chingy, about six fucking times. If she knew where Chingy was, she'd be like, hey, I know where Chingy is. You guys seen Chingy? No. Yeah, they're, they're standing right beside the chick that you already just asked, and they've been in the same room where you said it eight other times. They're just not telling you where Chingy is because, because they want you to keep looking for Chingy. They want to stand in this barn all day with all these hot lights on them. That's what they're doing. It's a game. Singing. Okay, obviously that was all just for the video. Ryan, calm down. I'm sure it's not that bad. We're going to give it a chance. The f and they put kids in it, so how bad can it be, really? Come on. Have you seen Chingy? I bet you he hasn't seen him. <laughs> Chingy. <laughs> Chingy. Why are we always waiting for Hey, Jeremy. Chingy? Yeah. Where's Chingy? Yeah, wait a minute. Let me tell you where <laughs> That's he's at. Funny. I've just been spinning around in circles like this, going, where's Chingy? Where's Chingy? I'm gonna go and drink Chingy? something right now. Because I know where he's at. I'm just testing you guys. I don't know. Well, plot twist, here I am. Hence the arm thing, here I am. This must be the Mona Lisa masterpiece of where the song starts. Mm. You gotta lean to the left then dip it to the right. Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. I'm going to get on fucking Facebook and tell everyone how psychic I am now. Move it down real slow, then you lose your mind. Damn, Tennessee, and I am so what? proud of y'all's newspaper for putting together something so impactful. You picked the perfect song. The lyrics are just so heartstringy pulley, man. I'm about to cry with those opening lyrics. You lean to the left, you dip it to the right, you drop it down low, and you lose your mind. Goddamn, I miss being young. All those <laughs> nights, me and all my friends leaned it to the left, and then it went to the right, and then dropped it low. And we lost. Stop it. Okay, first of all, I remember Meg and Tyler, like, I'm gonna have to show you guys. Precious like a diamond ring. I won't settle for an I owe you. I want it all, and that's the truth. I want to be your queen. I want to be your everything. That's what I remember. So, oh. Dude, the countryest thing in this video is the fucking ground they're standing on and the truck that's parked on the ground they're standing on. <laughs> Hold on. Chingy. Dude, that was, that's a banger. That's still a banger. But what are you doing? Like, what are you doing over there? 
Yeah, everyone in the country knows what's up because all the flashy lights. Yeah, we're, we're kind of like deer at night. When you flash lights all in our face, we're like, ooh, click buy on iTunes. Ooh. It's not true. Do y'all think we're fucking stupid or something? He's pissed. Y'all want to hire me? I can. Please hire him. Please hire him. You guys are making it look. You guys are making a mockery of it. Get him. Get get everybody that he is associated with. Adam Calhoun, Demon Jones. I'm not kidding you. You guys try to make it family friendly and all that kind of thing. You guys don't know what you're doing. Please, please, for once in your life, listen to listen to him. He worked his butt off to get where he's at. He is where he's at because he knows what he's doing. I'm just telling you, I'm fine. If you don't want to listen to me, fine. Who am I? I'm nobody. Fine. Okay. I can fix all y'all's boo-boos y'all made. All y'all's dumb shit y'all put out. I can fix all that country rap stuff. Because you know why? Because I know about it. Well, I don't think y'all know anything. It don't look like. Fuck, y'all done spent like $60,000 on a pile of dog shit ass video. And song. The fuck? Who gave that chick with the purple hair a fucking microphone, fuggin'? And jump oh. turn to the fucking the fucking country hall of fame. Down real slow, then you lose your mind. Down slow, then you lose your mind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, we losing our minds, all right. We are doing that. Summertime jam when you chilling with your fam, then you get with your girl, and you get with your man. We could sit around the fire, drink some liquor, and just stand. Hell yeah, dude. Who's the songwriter on this? You know why he's mad? You guys know why he's mad? Because he has worked his butt off to make it something to not be laughed at. And then you guys come around and make it into some kind of weird, just whatever. You just can't throw people together, give them some kind of catchy tune that just whatever. And just because some people are going to say, hey, it's family friendly. Yeah, this is great. That's not... <sighs> he worked his butt off for this. He really did. Every fan was through blood, sweat, and tears. I mean, he worked his butt off. Wow. He's going down in history. Guys, girls, fire, drinking, dancing. God damn, what a timeless song. This is epic! No wonder it made it in the newspaper! Do you hear this? Lil Nas who fucking? So just lean to the left and then dip to the right. I move it down a little slow. Yeah, you doing it nice. Aye. Yeah, you're right, Chingy. She is doing it so good sitting on that truck that she doesn't own back there going. Oh, no. That's what all country people do. We do it all the time. We do it when we're taking a shower. We just fuck. <laughs> That's what we do. When we're fucking cooking possum meat on the fire, we fuck. <laughs> that, that's kind of like, you know, our handshake. We just fuck. Mm. That's what we do. Because we're country folks. Hey, just answer me one question. Is anybody out there from the country going to listen to this while you clean your yard? Are you gonna listen to this while you're going hunting? Are you gonna listen to this while you're riding four wheelers? Are you gonna listen to this on the lake with your buddies? Are you gonna ride around and crank this up really loud so everyone else can hear it? No. No? Uh, okay, same here. Now I gotta show you how we do it. I don't think we need to know anymore how y'all do it because y you've said it the whole song. I can almost guarantee you're only gonna say the same shit slower than you already have. Please be wrong. Lean it to the left, dip it to the right. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. I am a psychic. Take your time with it. He's a psychic. Yeah, shut up. I can't hear it to the left, to the right, dip it low all night anymore. Fuck. But anyways, I'm congratulations, downtown. You're too oh, you're doing so good. You're doing so good. See y'all later, fucking. Oh, by Bye. the way, mainstream Nashville.
if y'all need any more props like you had in this video for your garbage ass songs and you know videos <laughs> holler at me i got a bunch of cool right. old trucks Just rubbing it in at my house sitting in the woods they still run you guys can use them but you gotta pay me though because they're they're actually old ass trucks so oh if you need God. any props holler at your daddy up church i got you fucking gosh sweet lord okay ryan i'm trying to build bridges and you're just setting them on fire okay um good talk nothing more to say gotta go